Welcome to another Messianic Moments. Today, I want to talk about Jonah, a fishy story. The story of Jonah and the fish, one of the oddest accounts in the Bible, opens with God speaking to Jonah, commanding him to preach repentance to the city of Nineveh. Jonah found this order unbearable. Not only was Nineveh known for its wickedness, but it was also the capital of the Assyrian Empire, one of Israel's fiercest enemies. Jonah, a stubborn fellow, did just the opposite of what he was told. He went down to the seaport of Jaffa and booked passage on a ship to Tarshish, heading directly away from Nineveh. The Bible tells us Jonah ran away from the Lord. In response, God sent a violent storm, which threatened to break the ship to pieces. The terrified crew determined that Jonah was responsible for the storm. Jonah told them, throw him overboard. Afraid of God, the sailors finally tossed Jonah into the sea, and the water immediately grew calm. Instead of drowning, Jonah was swallowed by a great fish, some say a whale, which God provided. And in the belly of this fish, Jonah repented and cried out to God in prayer. He praised God, ending with the eerily prophetic statement, salvation comes from the Lord, Jonah chapter 2. Jonah was in the giant fish for three days. God commanded the fish, and it vomited the reluctant prophet on the dry land. This time, Jonah obeyed God. He walked through Nineveh, proclaiming that in 40 days, the city would be destroyed. Surprisingly, the Ninevites believed Jonah's message and repented, wearing sackcloth and covering themselves in ashes. God had compassion on them and did not destroy them. But again, Jonah questioned God because Jonah was angry that Israel's enemies had been spared. When Jonah stopped outside the city to rest, God provided a vine to shelter him from the hot sun. Jonah was happy with the vine, but the next day God provided a worm that ate the vine, making it wither. Growing faint in the sun, Jonah complained yet again. God scolded Jonah for being concerned about a vine, but not about Nineveh, which had 120,000 lost people. The story ends with God expressing concern, even about the wicked. You see, God commands everything in his creation, from the weather to a big fish, to carry out his plan because God is in control. Jonah spent the same amount of time three days inside the fish as Yeshua did in the tomb. Yeshua also preached salvation to the lost. It's not important whether it was a great fish or a whale that swallowed Jonah. The point of the story is that God can provide a supernatural means of rescue when his people are in trouble. Jonah thought he knew better than God, but in the end he learned a valuable lesson about the Lord's mercy and forgiveness, which extends beyond Jonah and Israel to all people who repent and believe. Is there some area of your life in which you were defying God and rationalizing it? Remember, God wants you to be open and honest with him. It's always wise to obey the one who loves you most. Maybe it's time to get right with God. This has been another Messianic moment. God bless you all. Shalom, shalom. the house of